Hello. Today I will show you a small but useful feature in Blitz Report, which we have recently introduced. While working with EBS, there are often questions how to find the SQL statement behind an Oracle standard screen. For example, recently I had a case that I wanted to look at the uh, general ledger translations and I'm not so familiar with that process. So I looked, for example, at the Oracle standard translation, a uh, balanced translation form, and I entered a period date and then I had to message translation rates are not defined for this period so I wanted to understand the SQL query behind and now we could of course the old school method is that you go to diagnostics examine and then you look in the system uh, block for the last query but that doesn't always work you see in this case the last query is empty so I was interested to understand all the SQL queries which are executed by this form now and we have introduced a small feature that if you bring up the SQL performance summary report from the Blitz report directly from the form from on which you click on the Excel icon, then it defaults the module with the form that you have currently open. So you can click, simply click on run and it shows you all the SQL queries which were executed by that form, in this case by the translate balances forms. You see you have here the different SQLs and one of them would then be the SQL query that is causing, uh, that doesn't have any records returned. So in this spreadsheet, for example, you see then also more details, for example, the number of rows returned, rows per execution. And these two here, for example, they didn't return anything. So these are the candidates for the um, error message that we saw. And there's another small trick, if you have binds in the SQL like this. You see here B5, B4 and so on. In the Blitz report, you can also turn on the show bind values. If you turn it on like this, it shows one record for every SQL ID in plan hash value and bind. So you see the first, in this case, this SQL ID, for example, you have three records now instead of just one. And you see the binds which were captured. So here we have three binds b1, b3 and b2 and in the same order you have here the captured binds. b1 was set to US dollar and b3 was euro and b2 was set as 31st of Gen 08. So the Oracle database captures these binds at specific dates. If you have an SQL query which is executed very frequently, let's say hundreds of times, then it doesn't, the database doesn't capture every bind. But if you have a single form and you execute an SQL, then you would find the binds here in the database as well. And let me show you a different example. So this is on the general ledger translations form. You could also go to, let's say, to payables. And then let's bring up a form, for example, the credit cards here. So I'm just randomly bring up a form. So you can query data. And now if you want to understand the SQL queries, you can click again on that Excel icon and then click on run because you see it has defaulted the module type to form and the module name to the form that you currently have open. And now you have all these SQL queries which were executed by the form. Of course, there's a lot more to show uh, related to these, this report, but I thought this might be a good trick or an interesting functionality for those of you who would be interested to see the SQL queries executed by the Oracle standard forms.